Lead Belly is just amazing. I sat and I promised myself I was only going to listen to a little bit of it, and I stayed up all night listening to everything because it is both the unbelievably creative music, but also what I was struck by is that it taught me a lot about drawing distinctions between sort of it's folk music, uh, work it songs, and blues. Feet. And so in some ways, part of what really struck me about Lead Belly was that a lot of different sources shaped his music. And as a result of that, he has had such a major impact almost across the musical spectrum. I think of, you know, all the musicians from, you know, the Beatles to the Stones to people doing hip hop who all talk about um, the power of Lead Belly, both as a performer, his ability to control that 12 string guitar, but also Lead Belly is really important as a historical figure because he really represents all those African Americans who get caught in that system, that transition from slavery to freedom. That he suffers under a system of sharecropping, um, but then he is arrested and involved in the prison system which really, in the early 20th century, was viewed as an alternative to slavery. That one of the ways you control African-American men is by incarcerating them. Um, and by incarcerating them, you use their labor, just like you did during the period of slavery, to give businesses and states free labor, which obviously is profitable for them. When you listen to Lead Belly's music, you feel that. You feel that sense of tension between technically being free, but actually being under the thumb, whether it's under the economic thumb or the thumb of those in prison. And so I love the fact that his music gives me that sense of uh, struggle. It gives me a sense of the prison culture. And it gives me a sense, really, of folk culture. Because in some ways, in African-American music, we often forget that there's folk traditions and folk culture. We go right to the blues. Um, and it's like, and so Lead Belly just reminded me of the richness of this culture in ways that even as a scholar, I had forgotten. I mean, in some ways, what, what Lead Belly tells us is that all music is kind of has a shared heritage, right? That the way he chose the songs he did or the way that he wrote things that were topical you know, when he wrote about Jack Johnson supposedly not being allowed to get on the Titanic, which wasn't true, but it's a great song. Um, and you suddenly realize that, so while he talks from pain and struggle, he also talks from other people's pain and struggle. He looked around and said, what are other issues that we should be wrestling with that are important? So in some ways, again, it really is this ability to say, he is a great blues person but he's much more than that. And that in some ways that we have been remiss and we have missed an opportunity to really understand him by focusing just on his blues background. Plus it's just great music.